so we need to set up a default account default region and then stage and then i can just do npm run deploy uh it's cdk deploy let's check a uh, package.json cdk deploy so what it will do is it will check uh, your resources your stack so this is my stack app stack and we are passing all these properties and these are the resources it is creating a bucket and then development and then cloud front distribution okay say yes and let's get proceed so it is creating our resources for this particular stack and uh, if we look into this code again this particular stack what it is doing it has s3 bucket a distribution and a simple deployment i mean when you already have a folder available which contains your static website code then you can just create a aws s3 deployment directly you just need uh, the bucket name and the source folder from which it needs to pick up the your static folders and the files which it will upload to this particular s3 bucket and expose this index.html i think we have index.html created for it so it is it will start creating the resources for it so we are creating cloud front a simple s3 bucket and s3 deployment it's not a construct it's just a mechanism using which it is deploying it to the s3 bucket okay and uh, we can check all these things happening on the cloud formation like what all resources this particular stack is creating i'm creating a stack and i'm just destroying it so i do not get any extra billing on my aws account because all these are the small demos we are doing so this is the deployment it has created cloud front distributions and react uh, app static uh, bucket okay so it is still in progress but we can see all the events create update in progress resources all these resources and we can start looking for the cloud front the cloud front distribution it has created pointing to the s3 bucket this is the description we put and you can see the origin origin is this particular bucket name you can see so either you set up all these things manually or we use uh, this aws cdk to do our stuff so here we can see s3 bucket So this is react app development I guess uh, yeah this is the bucket and you can see it's publicly open publicly accessible because we added this policy we added this uh, policy document after creating the bucket so this is public read is available on this we will see the deployment part like how it is going to bundle up things and put that on the s3 bucket so that is still in progress we can check the cloud formation what is the real progress of the stack it is in progress resources it is still creating the cloud front distribution deployment it has already created I mean these are very slow because cloud formations and lot of things are happening under the hood for this but it won't break until unless if you are doing some something some mistake which uh, it will complain and it will just roll back all the resources it has created maybe like because it is creating these stack one by one if you did any single mistake it will just roll back uh, the whole stack and it will delete all the resources so it will just you will just get a clean clean picture 
if you do something some mistake so you can start back again from the fresh copy so let's see the demo in the next video because it will still take time so this is just a simple demo now how we can extend this example currently we are talking about simple s3 bucket and cloud front because you can use route 53 because maybe you don't have an external domain which is available i'm talking about uh, this particular example either you create a hosted zone and then get the certificate from the hosted zone validate this certificate against this hosted zone get the certificate through the certification manager so what we will do is let's say we don't have a route 53 and we have route 53 these are the two set of examples we can cover by extending this example so here we can see our stack is deployed and we can also see that on the AWS console this is my cloud front if you see the distributions and this is my S3 bucket I will open it in another tab so this is my S3 bucket and you can see it has index.html which is uploaded through S3 deployment okay and when you click on it you can also open it directly because we are allowing public read right and the, you can also access it through the cloud front this is the cloud front URL we copy it and paste it you can see we can access it through the cloud front URL or and the static web hosting is enabled so we can see the index.html working now another part of this is let's extend this example and let's make it a production ready so we need to add a certificate we need to uh, disable the public access on the s3 bucket so only where is our diagram this one only cloud front can access this s3 bucket so we will just disable the public read access to the outside world only cloud cloud front will read this and we will also attach a certificate to the cloud front which aws provides and let's say we don't have a hosted zone we may have just an external domain let's say godaddy where you already have a domain so you will create a subdomain and point to the cloud front distribution so this is how it will work or you can have a route 53 you can put a route 53 here hosted zones and that will there, there you can manage the domain because on aws also you can manage the domain and then create a cname record there to this cloud front for your subdomain all those things for that we need to go to our code so this is our s3 bucket and uh, we are giving a pub public read access because you can see this is the principle this is resource it means everyone has an access to this s3 bucket read which in idle case we should not allow only cloud front should be having access to the s3 bucket so no one unnecessary do lot of pings and aws will charge based on the read on the s3 bucket okay now what else we need to change we need to just look into the documentation how it really works so we need to create a certificate i will use some help here and you can see the public access is now blocked so this is our s3 bucket public read access is false and block public access is block all we are not allowing any public access and then we are creating this certificate can we import it directly or we need to use pdk dot aws s so we are getting a certification and this is coming from cloudfront origin access identity so we are creating a identity so that we can attach this to the s3 bucket so that only cloud front should be able to access this s3 bucket so here currently we are allowing everyone right action is allowed and the resource resource is this and the principle i will just use this principle everything is same we just need to change the principle principle is now this uh, cloud front 
so you can see CloudFront OI and then CloudFront Origin Access Identity S3 Canonical User ID. Okay, I, I will explain you what it means is when you play with the UI console, you can actually manually set that only this CloudFront has an access to the S3 bucket. So that's what we are doing here is this is your resource. This is your uh, who is going to access this S3 bucket with the all allow access. This is the SID and the action is get read. That means we are blocking all the public read access and giving access to only this S3 bucket. Static website S3 bucket and then we are creating distribution. Before that we need to play with the certificates. So here we are getting viewer certificate and then passing this viewer certificate to our cloud front. I don't want to write it all these things. So here certification manager. Close cloud front and then certification ERN. We already have a certificate and the region account. So we can pass this environment variables, region and account IDs. Node this dot node stick. Uh, okay. SLS method. We can import security policy document. First of all, why it is complaining? Okay, so we are creating a viewer certificate. So we have created already certificate from the certification manager. And then I need to find a fix for the supply removal policy by looking into GitHub issues. This is how we need to pass the blue apply removal policy. And then it fixed it. And then metrics and here you can see SSL methods. So, so this is enabling the HTTPS on our cloud front distribution. We also need to pass the reason and the account from the env. So here you can pass simply account that is also a string reason or you can have an env in which you can pass both the parameters. So here, I mean in env we are already passing it. So I can get it from there instead of creating two more props. So from props.env, props.env.region and another is props.env.account. Okay, apply removal policy. These are the TLS certificate and here we are using, we are creating this distribution, react app v2 distro okay this is the viewer certification and here now origin config is different i know we have the s3 bucket source is still the same but here origin access identity is now changed from cloud front origin uh, access identity and this is the behaviors and the deployment mechanism is still same react app deployment and now i will be making these as a version 2 so we don't see any conflict certification manager is totally new we are using this s3 bucket so i will just change it to version 2 bucket name version 2 cloud front and here we are adding the resource policy certificate and then adding the certificate to viewer certificate to the distribution this is when you don't have a hosted zone like route 53 and all otherwise you can get the certificate and the validation from the route 53 here let's say our domain is on external website like godaddy from there i already bought a domain and here i just wanted to add a certificate from the aws to my cloud front so here is everything is now configured looks like domain name we are passing so domain name is alias which we need to pass here you can see we are setting the alias for the cloud front right and in the certificate also we need to pass the alias whatever we are going to use so here i will just pass domain name is let's say app.pkserver.com okay and then we will just do CDK deploy. So it will again look into uh, your stack, what it contains. It contains S3 bucket, a simple certificate. 
from the certification manager and then on this cloud front we are uh, using this cloud front origin access identity and we are creating the v2 version of bucket certificate cloud front and we are adding a policy to the s3 bucket so that cloud front can access the data so this is the action and then the viewer certificate we are attaching this viewer certificate to the cloud front distribution and then the same deployment let's see this uh, how this goes i mean this is just deploying the stack and creating all the cloud formation chain sets so we can see what all resources it is creating when it is deploying this it is updating because stake name is still the same but we just we are just using the different resources you can say this is a certificate we have tap uh, development this is the distribution this is the s3 bucket and that's it these all these things we are using in our stack so it will take some time meanwhile we'll connect back and we will see and what i will do is if this stack creation is successful we will host it through app.tksarma.com because on that i will go to the godaddy and i will attach a c name this app and will point to the cloud front distribution.